eyes down on your mat, begin to bring your awareness to your breath. Turn your palms up to the ceiling to feel your shoulder blades coming together. Notice the rise and fall of the belly, the ribs, and the chest with each of your inhalations. So let the back body release as you exhale. Notice your environment, the temperature of the room, the sounds, the smells, the light behind your eyes. And then just let the skin on your face and your scalp release. Feel the coolness of the air as you inhale through the nose. And feel the warmth of the air as you exhale out through the nose. With your eyes closed, lift your eyes up to 12 o'clock and make circles with your eyes. And pause and then lift them up and make circles in the other direction. Pause. And then lift them up to 12 o'clock. Take them over to nine. Take them across to three. And bring them down to six. Take them up to nine again. Over to three. Across to six. Uh, I'm sorry, across to nine. And down to six. And then let the eyes float back to the center of the sockets. Squeeze your eyes together. And release and squeeze the eye. And release and squeeze. And release. And then just pause. Once again, think about letting the skin on the face relax. Let the scalp be soft. Let the skin on your neck be soft. And just feel for a moment as if you're melting into the mat. As the body becomes heavier and heavier during these few moments before we begin our practice. Bring your palms to rest at your abdomen.
Just with each of your inhales and exhales, remembering to breathe into the belly. Follow the lift of your belly and the, and the descent of the belly. Feel it rise up underneath your palms and feel it descend as you exhale. Just take some breaths, isolate the breath in the belly. And move your hands up to your ribs. Isolate the breath here and expand your ribs into your hand. And then release and let it go, let them come back in. Expand on the inhalation, contract on the exhalation. Just breathe. And now bring your hands to the center of your chest. <clears throat> and as the hands rest at the center of your chest, visualize a deep emerald green, color of the heart chakra. And begin to breathe into your chest, lift your chest into your palms. And let the palms descend of the chest that lights. Bring the breath into the chest, lift it into your palm, and exhale. And take a few more breaths. And now bring one hand back down to your abdomen. Keep one hand at the chest. And as we practice the three-part breath, begin by drawing the breath into the belly, from the belly to the ribs, and from the ribs into the chest. Exhale in one breath, release, let go. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale, release, go. Take a few more three-part breaths. And then bring your arms down by your sides. Take, an, take a moment or two to bring your breath back to its natural rhythm. Noticing again the coolness of the breath on the inhale and the warmth of the breath when we exhale. If your knees are out to the sides, then just bring your feet flat to the floor, or if the legs are extended, bring your feet flat to the floor. And then sway the legs from side to side. And just notice 
the slight amount of pressure that you feel as you move from the top of the glute on the left side, across the sacrum and the top of the glute on the right side. Just notice. And then you can bring the legs back to the middle and extend them out long. Reach your arms up behind you. Stretch out through your fingertips. Press your heels down gently. Lift your kneecaps and stretch the body. Exhale and bring your arms down by your sides. Reach your arms up and take them behind you. Reach out, stretch. And exhale the arms down. And then one last time, reach your arms up. Take them behind you, stretch out through the fingertips and out through the soles. Press the fingers away from your toes. Lift your kneecaps up. And then relax your legs. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. And shrug your shoulders up off the bolster. And then place them down. And shrug them up and place them down, and shrug them up, and place them down. Hold on to opposite elbows, take them behind you. And just pause here for a moment. And the body. Notice any place where you might be holding tension. And then also notice the parts of the back body resting on the mat. Take your legs over to the left corner of your mat. Take the arm, your right arm next to your right ear. Press up through your feet as you draw the arms off to the left. Come back through the middle. And take the legs over to the right and bring the left arm to the left ear, press up through your feet as you draw the arms to the right. And then come back through the center. Bring your folded arms up just above your ribs, make some circles. And slide your arms to the left and look right. Slide your arms right and look left. And then reach your arms up to the ceiling so that you can see the backs of your hands. And spread and close your fingers. And then open and close your hands. Just trying to get all the joints in each of the fingers and the thumbs. Tuck your thumbs under the fingers. Make a loose fist and make some circles with your wrists. And pause. And then also go in the opposite direction. And pause. And then flip your palms up towards the ceiling. And point the fingers down. And just wave your hands up and down. Bring the palms together, interlace your fingers, and turn the palms up to the ceiling. As you press the palms away, relax your shoulders, careful not to hitch them up next to your ears. And then bring the backs of your hands to your chest, press your palms away. Bring the backs of your hands to your chest and reach your arms up. Release the interlace of your fingers and wiggle them. And then take the arms behind you, stretch through the arms, stretch your fingertips away, press out through the soles of your feet, and then bring your arms down by your sides. Scrunch and spread your toes. And point and flex your feet. Make circles with your ankles. 
and then pause and go the other way. Bring your big toes together and then windshield wipe your legs. Slide your heels and tap the backs of your legs. And then roll to one side and come up. And just sit with your legs long on your mat. And bring your hands forward. Let me just pause here, have a slight flex in your feet to keep the eggs, the legs active. And now bend your knees and bring your feet to the floor. Take them as about as wide as your shoulders. Reach your arms through, press your fingertips down and round your back. And then extend your legs, hinge forward. Bend your knees. Reach your arms through, or press the fingers down around your back. And then extend your legs and hinge forward. And one more time, bend your knees. Reach your arms through, round your back. And then extend your legs, slide the heels and tap the backs of your legs. And then let's just come on back down. So if you've got a bolster, take it to the top of your mat and put a pillow underneath your head for a blanket. And when you come down to the mat, bring your feet flat to the floor. And lift your hips up a little bit, slide the butter flush down towards your heels. Just walk your hands down towards your feet. And then press your feet, press the lower back into the mat. And release, press your feet, press your back into the mat. And release, press your feet, press your back into the mat. and release, and then gently rock your knees from side to side. And bring your knees into your chest one leg at a time and rock slowly in and out. Keep your knees hugged in, take them as wide as your shoulders. Rock from side to side. And then bring the feet to the floor. And once again, press your feet and press your back into the mat. Step your feet one step out and press the feet, press the back into the mat. And then take your feet wider or as wide as your mat. Press your feet and press the back into the mat. And release. Extend your legs and your arms and stretch. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then relax the legs, relax your arms. Just pause here for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Bring your left knee in towards your chest and rock your left knee in and out. Bring your thigh to your ribs. Bring the left knee over to the right shoulder. And then bring your left knee to the left shoulder. Hold on to the top of your knee, make circles with your left hip. Pause and go in the opposite direction.
Bring your thigh in towards your ribs. And then stretch your leg up. Hold on behind your thigh. Press your thigh into your hands, hands into your thigh. Point and flex your foot again. Make circles with your ankle. Pause, go the other way. And press the leg up. Bend and straighten your leg. And then keep your thigh at your ribs, Walk, rock the thigh in and out. Keep your thigh at your ribs, walk your hands up towards the ankle or wherever you can reach, straighten the back of your leg. Bring the arch of your left foot to your right knee. And then take your right, your left knee over to the right and flex your right foot. Keep your shoulders on the mat. And then come back to the middle. Take both legs long and stretch your arms out behind you. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then with your next exhale, bring your right thigh in close to your chest and rock it in and out. Bring your right knee over to your left shoulder. And then bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Make some circles with your hip. Pause and then go the other way. Bring your thigh to your ribs. And then reach the leg up. Hold on behind your thigh. Point and flex your foot. Make some circles with your ankle. And go the other way. And then bend and straighten your leg. Rock your thigh in and out. Keep your thigh at your ribs. Walk your hands up towards your ankle and then straighten the back of your leg any amount. Good, good, good. Bring the arch of your right foot to the left knee, take your right hand to a T, and then bring your knee over to the left, flex your left foot. Come back through the middle, extend the arms and legs again. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. Exhale your arms down, bring your feet to the floor. Take your left chin over the right knee. Roll open your left hip. And then bring your knees in towards your chest and rock them in and out. Hug your knees in. And then take them a couple inches over to the right, towards your right shoulder, and rock towards the right. And then come back to the middle. Lower the right foot to the floor, cross the left leg all the way over, and then bring your knees in again. And rock slowly in and out. Keep the belly nice and soft. Bring your shins parallel to the floor. Stack your knees over your hips. 
Take your left foot either under or next to your right ankle. Take your arms up to a T and wrap your arms with the right arm on top. And you can either hold on to your hands or opposite shoulders. Draw your navel into your belly, into your spine. Take a couple of breaths. And then release your arms, release your legs. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Rock your knees from side to side. Bring the feet back to hip distance. And now take your right shin over the left knee. Use your right hand to roll open the right hip. Bring your knees in and rock them in and out. Bring the knees in towards your chest. And then take the knees over towards your <clears throat> left shoulder and rock your knees from some, just a little bit to the, to the left. I think you get a little bit more of a stretch here. You might feel it as a little, a little bit different from just sitting with the thigh over the, the shin over the thigh. And then bring the left foot to the floor, cross your right leg all the way over, bring your knees in and rock them in and out. Hold them in, soften your belly. And then bring the shins parallel to the floor, stack your knees over your hips. Take the right foot either next to your left ankle or under your left ankle if you're able. And then, what, then wrap your arms with the left arm on top, right arm under. You can wrap the hands or hold on to the opposite shoulders. Draw your navel into your spine and take a few breaths. And then release your arms, release your legs, take your feet as wide as your mat, rock your knees from side to side. Take the knees all the way over to the left. Gently press the right knee down towards the floor or for those of you who are a little bit more flexible, you can take your left ankle just above your right knee if you want. And then if you have the knee, uh, the ankle on the knee, just remove it. And then bring your knees all the way over to the right. And you can do the same here. Take the right ankle just above your knee if you want to, or gently press the knee down towards the floor. Come back up to the middle. Extend your arms and your legs, point your toes, do a pelvic tilt, stretch your arms away. And then relax the arms down by your sides. And once again, bend your knees, take your belt. And let's take the left foot up into the belt. Walk your arms up, your hands up towards your foot. And let's start by just lower, lowering the left leg down until your knees are even. And now lift your leg up and take your arms back as far as your leg lets you go. And then lower down again to be even with your knee. And take the leg back. And then lower down again. And this time bring the leg to perpendicular. Walk your hands up towards your foot. Bend and straighten your leg a couple of times. And then press the leg up. Take the belt into your left hand. Bring your right hand to your hip. As you exhale, lower the left leg to the left and right knee to the right.
come back up to the middle. Take the belt into your right hand, left hand to a T. And as you take the left leg to the right, lower the right knee behind the left thigh. Come back up to the center, bend and straighten your leg. Press your leg up. Bring your right foot into the belt and lower the left. Left foot comes to the floor. And now again, lower your right leg down so that your knees are even with one another. And then lift the leg up and bring it back. Lower down and lift up and then lower down. Bring the leg back to perpendicular. Walk your hands up towards your foot. Take the belt into your right hand, the left hand to your left hip. With your exhale, draw the right leg to the right, left knee to the left. Come back up to the middle. Switch the belt into your left hand, right hand to a T. Take the right leg to the left, left knee to the right. And then come back up to the middle. Take both feet into your belt. Separate your feet. And then press the feet into the edges of the belt. Maybe even spread your toes a little. And then relax. Take the legs wide and then rock from side to side. And then bring the legs together. Set your belt aside one last time. Do a nice long stretch. And then bring your arms down by your sides. Bend your knees, roll to one side. And press yourself up. And let's uh, let's sit for a minute. Bring your hands to your knees and round your back. Lift your chest and round and lift. And round and lift. And then take your arms to your sides, walk the arms away, wiggle your fingers, and then bring them back in. Walk the fingers away, wiggle them, and bring them in. And walk your fingers away and wiggle them, and then bring them in. Reach both arms up. Turn your palms and exhale. Reach both arms up. Turn your palms, exhale. One more time, reach the arms up. Turn your palms, lower the right arm, reach up with the left, and then reach to the right. Sweep the left arm down and around, and then bring your right arm up. Sweep the right arm down and around. Bring the left arm up. And one more time, sweep around and bring the right arm up. And then come back up, roll your shoulders. And then reverse. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right hand behind you. And then use your hand against your thigh. Soften the belly and twist ribs, chest, and shoulders.
Come back through the middle, take the right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand behind. Press your hand against your thigh, soften the lower back and twist ribs, chest and shoulders. And then come back to the middle, walk yourself forward. Press down into your palms, lift up your chest. And then walk yourself up. Take your legs out in front of you. Slide your heels, tap the leg. And then let's take the um, left, right foot and bring it in towards your left thigh. So. Um, the foot can either be at the thigh, your knee, your shin, wherever it works. If your knee is up, put a block underneath it. And then walk yourself forward. And come back up. Twist towards your bent knee. And twist towards your straight leg. And then come back to the middle. Take the right leg next to the left knee. Take your right, left hand behind you. Reach up with the right. And bring the right arm to the inside of the right knee. Press one against the other and twist. Come back to the middle. And then cross your right leg over the left. So as long as your knees are okay, if you want, you can take the left leg bend it and bring it next to the right hip. Otherwise, just leave the leg long. Up to you, your choice. Student's choice today. <laughs> and then take your right, your left arm, wrap it around the front of the shin. Take your right arm behind you, draw your thigh in towards your navel and twist. And then come back to the middle and extend the legs, slide your heels. And then take your left leg and bring the left foot into the right thigh or knee, wherever you can reach. And then walk yourself forward. Walk yourself up. Twist towards your bent knee. And then twist towards your straight leg. Come back to the middle and bring the left foot next to the right knee. Take your right hand behind you, take the left arm up and bring the left arm to the inside of the left knee, press one against the other and twist. Come back to the middle and then cross the left leg over the right. Again, if you want, you can take that right leg and bend it around towards your left hip. Otherwise keep the Right leg extended. Wrap your right arm around the front of the shin, or you can actually you can even hold on to your knee. And then take the left hand behind you, draw the thigh in towards your ribs, and twist. Come back to the middle. Take your legs long, slide your heels, and then reach your arms up. Hinge from your hips, lead with your heart, come forward, bring your hands to wherever they land. And then come back up and let's come on to hands and knees. Use a cushion under your knees if you need it. So you can fold up a blanket, just not too thick. You don't want to lose your balance.
And then once you're ready, come on to your hands and knees. Press the hands into the floor, draw the navel up and in and round your back. And then lift your chest and round your back. And lift up. Slide your hips back and around the back. And then come forward. Slide the hips back and round. And come forward. Take your right arm up and the left leg up. Gaze is at the mat. Draw the navel up and in. And reach your fingertips and toes away from one another. Keep your toes pointed towards the mat to balance your hips and then lower down. Take your left arm and right leg up. And lower. Right arm, left leg. Bring your elbow to your knee and reach. Elbow to knee and reach. Elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach, one more, elbow to knee. Reach and pause and then lower. And now take the left arm and right leg up. And elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. Reach. Elbow to knee, reach, and last one, elbow to knee, reach and pause, lower the hand, lower the knee, press the hips back and round, and then come forward. Bring your big toes together, separate your knees, press back to extend a child pose. Walk over your right thigh and stretch through the left arm. Come back and walk over to your right thigh, stretch through the left arm. And then come back to the middle and bring yourself up to table. Um, Walk your hands forward. We're gonna do a little work on the lower back today. So walk your hands forward and then bring yourself down onto your mat. And bring your elbows right underneath your shoulders. Your forearms are parallel to one another and your hands are flat on the mat or the floor. Turn your toes in towards one another. Press your five, uh, ten toes into the floor. Press your pubic bone into the floor. And then press your arms into the floor. Lift up your chest for sphinx pose. Good. Good, Peggy. And then relax. And then press the toes, press the pubic bone and the arms into the floor. Roll the shoulders back, lift up. And then lower down, bring your forearms out in front of you and rest your forehead on your forearms. Bring your hands right next to your chest. Bring your elbows in close to your ribs. Don't let them wing out like, you know, like wings. So keep them in close. Bring your the tip of your nose or your forehead to the floor. Turn the toes in towards one another. Let your heels split apart. Press the toes, press the pubic bone into the floor. And then press your hands down, lift up for a cobra. And then exhale and lower, turn your head to one side and then bring your arms down by your sides. 
Let your shoulders roll forward. Bring your head back to the middle, bring your arms next to your chest, draw the arms in, press the toes and the pubic bone down, and then inhale, lift up. And then lower down, turn your head to the other side, relax your arms by your side. And then bring your hands back next to your chest. And then slowly bring yourself all the way back, press back to extended child pose. Come up to table and then make your way up to standing. Come up slowly when you do. Come to the top of your mat. Press your feet down into the mat and lift up your kneecaps. Let the buttock flush the spin. Reach your fingertips down to the floor and lift your sternum. Reach your arms up. Fold forward at the hips. Bring your hands to your shins and lift up halfway. And then lower down, bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor and walk your feet back so that you come into downward facing dog. Good. Come up onto your toes and lower one heel and then the other. And then come up onto both toes, lower the heels a little, glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Walk your feet forward to come into forward fold. Inhale up halfway, lower down, and then inhale all the way up. Reach your arms up. Pull forward. Inhale halfway. Lower down. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor. Walk your feet back. You come into downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. And then slowly walk your feet to come into forward fold. Good. Inhale halfway up. Exhale lower. Come all the way up. And exhale your arms by your sides. Bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale up. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And then reach your arms up. Fold forward. Step, step one foot back, it doesn't matter which, and lower it down to the floor and then step the other foot back. And then turn so that you are facing the long edge of your mat. And we're gonna be on our knees for a minute or so, a couple minutes. So if you need something under them, please put something underneath. Take your Left leg out to the side. You can bring your hands down to the floor to move. So I didn't do it, but I should have because I was wobbling. All right, good. 
reach the right arm up. And now as you exhale, bend to the left. And then inhale, come up, lower the left hand to the floor or a block and take the, right, the left arm up. Wait a minute, what did I tell you? I'm okay. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. All right, inhale, come up, reach. You have your left leg out, right? Just give me a thumbs up, Peggy, or yeah. Yep, okay, great, thank you. And then exhale, lower down, bring the right hand to the floor, reach the top arm up or keep it at your hip. And one more time, inhale, reach up. Reach with the right arm, stretch to the left. And then come back up. Lower the right arm to the floor or a block. Uh, take the left arm up and then lift the left leg. Good. Lower the left leg, lower the left arm. Walk yourself back towards the middle. Bring your left leg in. And now take your right leg out to the side. And then bring yourself up to stand on your knee. Good. Good. Reach up with your left arm. And then exhale to the right. Inhale, come up. Bring the left hand to the floor. Reach up with the right arm or bring it to your hip. Inhale, lift up. Reach and stretch to the right. And then come up. Inhale up. Reach and stretch right. And then come all the way up. Bring the left hand to the floor. Take the right arm up. And if you want, lift the right leg. And then lower the right leg down, lower the right arm down, curl your toes, press back for downward dog. Come forward to plank, lower your knees, separate your, feet, your knees, press back to extended child pose. Walk yourself up, roll onto one hip, Take your legs out in front of you. And then hold on behind your knees. Roll yourself down onto the mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock them in and out. Bring your feet to the floor. Extend your legs and extend your arms and stretch your body. Exhale your arms by your sides, bend your knees. Press your feet, take a block. Press your feet into the mat, lift your hips up and slide the block underneath your sacrum. Bring your hands to the floor and then extend your left leg down onto the mat. And bring that leg in and then stretch the right leg out onto the mat. And bring that leg in. You can do one at a time again or take both legs out for a stretch in the front of your hips, your hip flexors or the psoas muscle. And then bring the legs back in. And now draw your left thigh in close to your ribs. Reach the leg up and flex your foot. And then lower your left leg down. Let it hover above the floor. Bring your thigh in. Reach the leg up. Lower it down towards the floor. 
Bring your thigh in. Reach your leg up. Lower it down. Bring the thigh in. Reach the leg up and lower it down. Bring your left foot to the floor. Bring your right thigh in close to your chest. Reach the right leg up, flex your foot. Lower your leg down towards the floor. Bring your thigh in. Reach the leg up. Lower the leg. Bring your thigh in. Reach the leg up and lower. Bring your thigh in. Reach your leg up. Lower down. Bring your thigh in. Reach the leg up. Lower down. Bring your right foot to the floor. Press your feet into the floor and lift your hips up. Slide the block away. Lower your hips down and bring your knees into your chest. And you can either fold them into the chest or rock them in and out. And then bring the feet to the floor and extend your legs. Reach with your arms, point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then exhale your arms by your side and you can prepare for Shavasana. You rest yourself back down onto your mat. Bring your breath back to its natural rhythm. With each of your exhalations, feel the back body release and let go. Feel the weight of the body melting into the mat. Slowly begin to bring some movement back into your bodies. And maybe stretch the body. Bring your knees into your chest. And then slowly make your way onto one side. And when you're ready, press yourself up to come and sit comfortably. And bring your hands to the center of your chest, lower your head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in the heart. May the longtime sun shine upon you, all of us around you, and the pure light within you guide your way through. Namaste.